In this video, I'm going to discuss piecewise defined functions. And I'll be square with you. We're not going to use these a lot in this course. Basically, only in section 2.5. But if you're taking a calculus course, then you're probably in a major that requires a fair amount of math. And piecewise defined functions are very important generally. So maybe not so much in calculus, but in mathematics in general. A piecewise function occurs when the domain of a function is broken up into pieces and the function has a different equation for each piece. Let's try to understand this via an example. Let's say that the input of our function will be the day of the year. So numbers from one to 365. And the output will be the revenue that a seasonal business makes in that day. So the domain will be from day one of the year to day 365 of the year. And when I say seasonal, I mean open in the summer. Outside of summer months, it's closed. So from days 1 to 120, this business is closed and it is not earning any revenue. The revenue function is the constant zero. And then From day 270 to 365, it is again closed. And the revenue function is again zero. But from day 120 to 270, it's open. And the revenue function is this quadratic polynomial. So this is a single function. But you see, we've broken the domain into three pieces, and we have three different equations, depending on which piece we're looking at. And the way a piecewise to function like this would ordinarily be written, You'd have curl the brackets, and then you'd write down each of these three equations. And then over here, you'd say when we're in each of these pieces. So this first piece comes from this interval. X is between 1 and 120. This, sorry, wrote those out of order. This next piece comes from this interval. X is between 120 and 
and 270. And this last piece comes from this interval. X is between 270 and 365. One more very quick example of a piecewise defined function. No, actually, let me do an ex I mean, let me do an example with this example first. Say that I ask, what's R of 42? You would just say, well, 42 is an X value. Which of these pieces is it in? It's in this piece. 42 is between 1 and 120. So R of 42 is 0. If, on the other hand, I wanted to know R of um, 150, 150 is between 120 and 270, so we do is this equation. Now, what I was going to do earlier, this will just take a minute, but I want to very quickly present a standard piecewise defined function. We'll use this example occasionally throughout the course, the heavy side function. The heavy side function has three pieces. In the first piece, it's zero. In the second piece, it's one half. In the third piece, it's one. The domain of the heavy side function is all of the real numbers. And the way this domain is being broken apart, we've got the negative numbers, the positive numbers, and then the second piece consists of a single point. What am I writing? It consists of the point zero. The heavy side function shows up in electrical engineering. It corresponds to flipping a switch. The switch is off, it's flipped, it's on.